Yo, what's good, y'all? We back with another video. Conference finals are still going on. We're basically going to wait that out and just wait for those series to finish before we talk about the finals preview, whatever that matchup is. And in the meantime, we're going to talk about some more offseason slash free agent stuff going on because we got some big rumors going around already. And it's one of the big marquee free agents this offseason, Zach Levine. And it's big news for the Chicago Bulls and the LA Lakers because Bulls guard Zach Levine obviously had one of his best seasons of his career, averaging 24 points a night and helping lead the Chicago Bulls to the sixth seed in Eastern Conference, which was their first playoff appearance since 2017, helped bring back that electricity back to Chicago basketball, something that, you know, Bulls fans were proud of. They hadn't had anything to be proud of in a long time, it felt like. And this was the year. They played really well. Zach Levine played well. He was named a second-time All-Star in his career this season and proved again to be one of the best wing players in the league. Formed one of the best wing duos in the NBA, or just one of the best duos in general, between him and DeMar DeRozan. But he did have some knee problems that he dealt with and played through for basically the second half of the season, which is why his numbers took a slight dip in that part of the year. He went from like 26 points per game for a good, a good solid portion of the year and then it dipped to 24, but nonetheless, still a pretty good year for Zach Levine and the Bulls with all things considered. And you would probably think that it would be a for sure lock as to why Zach Levine would stay put in Chicago, especially with the success they just had this season. I see why not. And they are still the favorites again. I still think the Bulls are the top team to sign Levine this offseason. But here we are. And there's a lot of speculation going around that Zach Levine could be done in Chicago. And one of the teams he could be on his way to is the Los Angeles Lakers. And he does have some history with LA. He played in UCLA. He's familiar. You know, he got love for the area. Uh, he's not from there. He's from Seattle. But got love for the area because he played college ball there. Um, he was a Kobe fan. Lakers, you know, correlation. Even though a lot of guys were Kobe fans. And they never go on to play for the Lakers. I understand that. But I can definitely see a guy like Levine doing it. I can see it. Are the Lakers the favorites? Probably not. And, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. But it would be interesting. It would be pretty interesting if he did go and play with LeBron James and Anthony Davis this offseason. I didn't mention Russell Westbrook because I would expect Russell Westbrook would not be on the team if Zach Levine did sign. Now, I do believe this is probably not going to happen. Like I said before, I think he stays in Chicago and basically I think they try to run it back. But this is a Laker rumor that I actually think is believable compared to prior years where someone would be rumored to go there and it wouldn't happen like a lot of previous years. I think this is more of a possibility, even though a small one, I think this is one that still exists. The only question I have though is if he actually has interest in leaving to go to LA, why would he want to go play for the Lakers outside of the fact that it's LA and the weather's nice? compared to Chicago. That's pretty much all there is right now because from a basketball standpoint, the Lakers look like a complete mess right now and have a lot to figure out before they can even make a free agent pitch to Levine this offseason. First things first, they don't even have a coach yet. Even though they got their finalists for coach, they don't got one yet. Their roster as currently constructed is a disaster and that's with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook all healthy. It's just a disaster right now. First of all, Russ has to go, so there's that problem. And then if you're Levine, why do you want to play with a LeBron who, yeah, he's great, still a top three player just coming off averaging 30 points a night, but he's 37, and he gets hurt more often now than he always than he usually would. You know, usually he was that Iron Man, he always stays healthy, but father time is slowly catching up in the health aspect. Then you got Anthony Davis, who's in his prime, but he's guaranteed to miss about 20 to 25 games every season at this point. It's just a lock. So why would you want to go play there? Meanwhile, in Chicago, the culture being built is looking good. The front office has done the best of their abilities to give you a competitive team. And the Bulls have a better future than the Lakers to do so. So why would you leave that for the drama that's going down there in LA? Because it looked like next season there's going to be more drama. And then on the flip side, if you're the Lakers, getting a Levine obviously would be a big boost and it would give them their best chances to win or make another deep playoff run 
since probably the 2020 season when they won the championship. And he would fit well. He would actually be the perfect fit with LeBron and Anthony Davis being a guy, a wing scorer that can hit the three at an efficient level, attack at an elite level. And that's something that was key. And they were missing that badly this season, and they did not get that at all with Russell Westbrook being the third guy. So it makes sense from a Lakers perspective to go after Levine this offseason, but I just feel it wouldn't do much for him. And me personally, I wouldn't go there if I was him, but I do completely understand why he wants to test his market in free agency because if I'm not mistaken, and somebody can correct me on this, this is his first time in unrestricted free agency. I remember when he was a restricted one, and he signed with the Kings, and then the Bulls matched the contract and he stayed in Chicago. But this is the first time he's unrestricted, so I get why he wants to see what his market value is, you know, compared to all the other free agents. But we'll see in late June, early July, what Zach Levine decides to do, because if you're a Bulls fan, those hopes for next year, they hang in the balance of this decision. And if he decides to leave, it can potentially ruin what they had going on. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description below. This has been The Checkup, where we talk hoops and hoops only. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.